Welcome to the Kindy Atkins Super Mario Land walkthrough. This walkthrough will cover all mushrooms, fire flowers, uh, star men, and um, coin stashes. Most of the time, the most important I feel are the coin stashes, but personal opinion, the star man is the most useful. Now there are two modes in this game. There's a hard gate, there's a hard mode, and a normal mode. I am doing the walkthrough in hard mode so that the viewers of the hard mode can also view on this. If you are from normal mode, it's basically what I'm about to show you, except there's less enemies and it's less frequent. And um, after you beat hard mode, in order to get to hard mode, you have to be normal mode. After you beat hard mode, you'll be able to get the numbers beside the start button, and these numbers allow you to... These numbers will allow you to start the game at a different level. But for walkthrough cases, I decided that we should start from level 1 1, so let's go! We begin! And. Here's your first mushroom! <laughs> and this is your first coin stash! Coin stashes refer to coins, to secret coins, not necessarily in pipes, but also but are included. But pipe coins. Coins and pipes are included as secret stashes. If that happens, like you have an uncollect you have an unfinished strip of coins, you can always take block destroy those blocks and come back down to get it. There's a heart here. Get you an extra life. I size down. These enemies are bombshell poopers. When they explode. They're not destroying anything else except themselves. These guys, you can defeat them using a stomp head or two fireballs. Be careful. Let the bombshell Cooper go. Then you can town down here. This is another coin stash. There are quite a number of these in this game. There's a coin. I will not recover regular coin blocks or blocks with my take you. I died, and this is your baby, this is the best item ever, Starman. I'm um, over here, in multiple coins, you can take that on your own time, if you are small, you can try to get these coins, but however, you want to avoid that enemy as much as you can, and thankfully I did. Now, you get, you get to come to exit. The top exit gets you to a game. I shall show you the game. Like, you get to win either 1 to 3 lives, 1, 2 or 3 lives, or a size up. In my case, I want a size up, because I'm small. But sadly, I got 2 lives. It's kind of ironic. Like, whenever I want a size up, I always get lives. Instead. Anyways, if you took the normal route, it would take you straight to this level. And let's start off with... A mushroom. These enemies can be killed using one super ball. Now these are not those. The fire gives you uh, super balls and not fire balls. So just want to clarify that because I usually make the same mistake. So please pardon me if I ever do. Get a running start here and run this way. That way you can get an extra heart. If you don't, then don't worry. You can still get it. It's not the end of the world. Over here, you'll be greeted with enemies with as such. Here's a, here's a trick, you want to defeat the one which is low life and then avoid the one which is the high, avoid the higher enemy. It works like 99% of the time. 1% is because you're careless and die. Yeah, that's how simple it is. That's how to kill it! Yeah! You need one fire, uh, super ball. There's a heart here. There's nothing down there, it's just a coin. Whoa, near death experience. And uh, do not try to kill that thing. Because as you can see, I lost a life. I um, lost a size. And anyways, that's your second level. Which is great. Um, 
Now, you want some size here. If you're small, you want size. If you're big, you want to get lives. If you're big or fire, you want lives. But if you're small, you want size. Because this requires a lot of size. This level requires size in order for you to achieve the biggest, the most profitable regions. The first one does not require any deaths. However, the next one does. Thankfully, you have a size up over here. See that? You got a size up. However, if you do have size already, you get a fire. So, you get, you, I mean, not fire, you get a flower. Like, the Super Bowl flower. 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 Careful here. And be very careful here. Those platforms will fall. You also want to avoid that lion thing. The sphinx. You can defeat it from the bottom. Then open this way. You have to do that, you can come in and, and kill it. Then you can have to come here. It's very precarious of a region. Then you can come to this area. This also takes you to your next part. Whoa, give me a moment. Okay, I guess this will work. Alright. You want to jump from this last block, so that's why you do not want to destroy it. Okay, at this point in time, you chances are, you want to size down, ironically enough. You can try to get the coins, but these are not worth it, because what you are about to experience after you size down, is very worth it. First off, let the three platforms drop, because it's always a good thing to let things go first. Destroy the bombshell Cooper and get yourself a size up here. Once you get the size up though, you get you can try not to lose the size up because with the size up you get your next size up. But you can only get it if you do have already a uh, Super Mario. You come here, you get a fire flower, a uh, super ball flower. Try to give a long distance range kill at it. Let the platform fall. Then I got a trick. If you are already, if you are uh, Super Bomb Mario, you can do this. And then shoot him from behind. It sounds cowardly, it looks cowardly, but it works. Animation time. Thank you, Mario. Oh. Daisy! You're one of those things which require two fireballs, uh, super balls to hit. And thank you for watching part one of the Super Mario Land walkthrough. Next time we shall cover World 2. So, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos to come.